This program is designed to introduce you to Elixir Graphics. Elixir Graphics provides the environment and drawing tools you would expect to find on dedicated graphic workstations. But it works right on your PC. What's more, Elixir Graphics has powerful features built in to support your Xerox printing systems and scanners. We'll begin by reviewing the steps for installing the Elixir Graphics software. Next, we'll show you the Elixi Graphics screen and discuss how it is organized into five work areas. Top level, the full image features, the drawing tools, the drawing supports, and the environment controls. Finally, we'll work with an actual graphic. Let's review the steps for installing the software. Each software package contains your copy protection security key. To install, the cable plugs into the parallel port of your PC and the security key plugs into the cable. If you have multiple products, you stack the keys by plugging one key into another. And finally, you plug the proof printer cable into the last key. Next, you must place the Elixir Graphics System Disk into the floppy disk drive A and type A colon install followed by a return. For additional instructions, refer to the more detailed description in the Elixir Graphics User Guide. If Elixir Graphics is already installed, change to the Elixir directory and start the program with the run command run GE for Elixir Graphics. If you need to scan in graphics, you will need a digital scanning device like the Xerox 7650 Pro Imager. If you're using other scanners, you must verify that they can scan and create images in the PC Paint, Xerox IMG, or TIFF format. All graphics can be converted to the Elixir Generic Picture Image format using Elixisys or FSIMG, a utility program. After conversion, these files will be in the Elixir Pix printer directory with the file extension LP3. Now they can be edited by Elixir Graphics. Elixir Graphics edits images in a bitmapped format. A bitmap describes the way the images are coded for printing. A bitmap is an array of dots or pixels which are used to represent the image of a computerized picture. A dot or pixel is the smallest mark that can be printed and is represented by zeros and ones. To create this image, the printer used a bitmap that told it specifically whether to print or not print every one of those dot positions. There are several bitmap formats, such as the Xerox IMG format and the PC Paint format. Through conversion utilities provided, Elixir Graphics can handle images from a wide variety of bitmap formats. For example, the Elixir Sys program can import small graphics like the Xerox 9700 LGO files or PC Paint files. The FSIMG utility handles large graphics and other formats such as Xerox IMG, PC Paint, and TIFF. Once again, both Elixir Sys and FSIMG convert images into the Elixir generic picture image format. Elixir Graphics edits this format. Once you finish editing, you can export the Elixir generic picture image to any Xerox printer using Elixir Sys or FSIMG. Now, let's discuss each of the top level options on the screen. First, by selecting the load option, the file selector will display in the center of the screen. The file selector submenu shows the current image files stored on the disk. With the file selector option, you can enter, delete, copy, and retrieve files. Next, by selecting the save option, you save all your currently loaded images. The reset option reloads the image file that was last saved. The clear option clears the entire image from the screen. The New option allows creation of a new image on the screen. Finally, the Stat option 
shows statistics related to images, memory size, and available disk space. The full image feature options on the top right hand side of the screen affect the images as a whole. These options allow you to crop part of an image, transform an entire image, expand or contract image size, scale down an entire image to a reduced view, and finally perform some extra operations on whole images. These operations include the ability to convert large images into several font files, to create a screen version of the graphic for use in Elixir form, to resize the graphic image so it will appear on the screen exactly as on paper, and provide a graphic traceover template that you can use in Elixir form to trace lines and boxes over a form. The drawing tools options on the left center of the screen assist you in image cleanup work. These include the line width slide tool, the eraser, the airbrush, the pencil, the brush tool, the line drawing tool, the curve drawing tool, the box drawing tools, the circle and ellipse drawing tools, and the polygon tools for drawing and filling in polygons. The drawing support options on the top left of the screen are aids to the drawing tools. These options provide features such as a magnified edit window, ruler, grid display, an image repositioning function, and functions that will undo the last series of edits, or place last edit changes into an image format. The environment controls located at the bottom right of the screen allow you to configure external devices such as printers and scanners, as well as internal settings, which set up the overall Elixir graphics program. The edit of a basic graphic using several elements such as loading the graphic and magnifying it, using an airbrush, a pen, an eraser, finally adding text, and some clip art. This is the graphic we will edit and its file name is Archie. The first step is to load the graphic, so move to the top level options and select Load. This causes the File Selector submenu to appear at the bottom of the screen. The next step is to select the image file from the submenu. Archie now appears in the work area. Next, select a section to enlarge for editing. To do this, select the option named Bigger, which is located in the top level section. What you now see on the screen are two images. To edit the corner of his shirt, click the mouse inside the little window. The first editing tool we'll use is the airbrush. To select this tool, move to the Drawing Tools section on the left of the screen then click and hold the mouse button on the airbrush option. Now you can spray dots on his shoulder. Notice the dots appear in both the magnified and small graphic windows. Next, let's use the pen to do dot editing. To select this tool, move to the same section as the airbrush and select the pen option. Using the pen, you can draw in his shoulder. The pen width may be varied by moving the tool width slider back and forth. To remove dots, you can use the eraser option. Let's move to the drawing tools and click on the eraser. Now you get dots being erased. It's time to add text to the graphic. Let's add an A for Archie. To do this, select the blend text option which causes a font list to appear at the bottom of the screen. From this, you select a font. Now the selected font character set appears. The next step is to move the mouse into the image and click. Now type an A for Archie. Let's complete the editing session by adding some clip art. To do this, 
Select the Clip Art option on the left side of the screen, which brings up the Clip Art Library. When you select a file, a new window appears on the screen. Here you select the clip art you want and place the art within the graphic. The editing of the graphic is now completed. The next step is to save the file and print a proof cup. Select the Files option in the top level. The Save File menu appears in the center of the screen. In this menu, name the file and save it. Now, select the Print option from the Environment Controls section. The Print dialog box appears, and you can select the appropriate proof printer to send the graphic to. After watching this program, you should be able to use Elixir Graphics effectively to create or modify your graphics applications. For more information, be sure to look at the other tools available in this package pertaining to Elixir Graphics, especially the Fast Start tool, Elixir Common Questions and Answers, the Elixir Applications Primer, and of course, if you need more detailed information, the Elixir Graphics User Guide. This concludes the program on Elixir Graphics. The capabilities and demonstrations of other Elixir products are described in separate video programs.